short video interlude. Um, there's a interesting omission from the directions when you get to step 13. Looking at it, it's relatively simple. A few parts, a couple springs, a little hose, um, and it's the turret base assembly getting ready to put the launchers in. Okay, no problem. Uh, you assemble the upper and lower section, you add the uh, electrical connectors at the back, you build the um, base for the actual launchers, then you assemble the uh, top base to the lower section, add the electrical connectors to the top box, build and add the hoses. Then you come over here and you glue these four places, these four pieces into place. Um, no, you don't. Those four pieces can't be glued into place. They're not supposed to be glued into place if you want the launcher to raise or lower. If you just follow the directions and look at it, it you assume easily enough, because it doesn't say no gluing, that you glue these in this configuration with the back of the launcher in the down position. That would fix the missiles in the stow position never to be moved up or down. And that's fine if that's what you want to do, but if you want it to move up and down, these four pieces have to move. Again, it doesn't tell you that. You have to kind of figure it out for yourself. There are little pins that hold snap these pieces together but they're very small very fiddly and there's so much flash in there by the time you clear the flash out the pins have gone so what I had to do was pin them I drilled them out and put little pieces of fresh styrene in their place and now it works it pivots up and down like it's supposed to but if you follow the instructions you end up with it glued into this configuration and you can't move the uh, missiles up or down into the firing position. Finish another one. This one is the SAM-6 by Trumpeter. And I'm not going to go into all the uh, ups and downs that I had with it. Uh, I covered, I think, most of those in the uh, stills leading up to this. I will say that some of the issues were my own. Uh, I had to repaint the missile three times before I finally got them right. Um, color was totally wrong the first time. Second time when I colored, painted it, the um, I left empty spots. I mean, there was like a misting over it, and it was kind of dark in the garage, so painting in here can sometimes be a little hit and miss. Now, I did uh, do take some uh, license with the kit. I decided to have one missile look like it's been fired, uh, leaving the cable ends dangling the kit log plastic log they never look right to me so I put a real log on the back I scratch built the two clamping mechanisms and added the chains 
uh, from the photograph that you'll see in DC uh, previous to this or, or prior to this I should say uh, the paint call out for this is kind of sparse it doesn't really tell you what colors go where it just says light green that's it uh, it doesn't uh, explain anything else really and the directions are not a whole lot better for instance they don't tell you that these are rubber mud guards they should be painted black the little lights on the back unless you look at the color call out here you don't notice they're they're red they're supposed to be red as long as well as the ones on the front it does tell you that the headlights are supposed to be black I, I assume that's for uh, blackout drive or uh, infrared or uh, ultraviolet uh, night vision but again don't tell you also the cones on the missiles if you look at this painting or color call out for the uh, decals you can see that they are painted red so those things were painted in accordance with this and accordance to photographs I found on the internet um, it's a really menacing looking set I mean machine it's just it's cool to look at it I just enjoy the crap out of it um, not real happy like I said with some of the uh, engineering choices they had um, but I mean you know hey uh, nobody asked me now I also the call, color callouts on the uh, directions do call for these to be painted blue I uh, I never like painting blue I, I can never get that nice reflective look uh, some of you guys have I've seen them and they're just awesome so what I use is this stuff uh, mylar that I get from party favors uh, you buy them in a dollar store for you know bag for a buck and you get red and blue silver green and the blue and the green make really great glass substitutes for the uh, periscopes on new vehicles the green works well for older vehicles and I use the silver for um, rearview mirrors and the red usually red and purples make great uh, optics you know when they have like range finders and so on newer vehicle modern vehicles um, gotta say I have no idea what the decals are for I'm thinking each German uh, again the callouts show this decal and it's the only one for this particular color configuration I didn't want to do a camouflage job. I like the uh, the shade the shading of greens, and uh, I'm like I said, I think it's East German. Uh, I could be wrong about that. If somebody knows for certain, I'd be happy to uh, uh, acknowledge that. And uh, overall, um, great kit, fun kit, interesting kit. Uh, I built it. Never going to build another one. Well, not not trumpeter I will build all the trumpeter kids I just will never build this again um, but man it's cool thanks for watching